I've been wanting to learn DaVinci Resolve for a while now and I figured why not learn it together. In this video I'll be sharing everything you need to know as a beginner step by step. So let's dive in. First things first, let's download DaVinci Resolve from the Blackmagic website. You can download it for free from the link in the video description. Choose your software, register, download and install it and then we will jump into the tutorial. Once you installed DaVinci Resolve and opened it, the project manager will pop up. That's where we'll create a new project. Name it and click create. Before using it, adjust the project settings by clicking the settings button in the lower right corner, set your resolution and frame rate and select H.264 for smooth performance and small file sizes. After that, click on Save. I know DaVinci seems complicated right now, but it's easier than it looks. We'll start by going over the workspace tabs and I'll show you what each one is for. First is Media for importing and organizing files. Next is Cut for quick edits, then comes Edit for detailed timeline work. Following that is Fusion for advanced visual effects. After that there is Color for professional color grading. Next is Fairlight for audio editing and finally Deliver for exporting. Now we will import the clips and music. Just go to the Media tab, right click, select Import Media, choose the files you need and click Open. After that you will be able to access the files in other tabs. Next I will show you how to edit videos in the Edit tab. When you double click on the video you will see a preview in the player. Below you can add clips to the timeline by dragging and dropping them. You can drop your clips anywhere on the timeline. The blue track is video and the green track is audio. Here you can zoom in and out on the timeline to make editing easier. To watch the video you can move the playhead along the timeline, then press the play button or spacebar. As a template. Tap on custom in the templates tab and select create a custom template. You can easily enlarge or reduce each part including video and audio tracks. By following this method you can make adjustments to the timeline to better fit your personal preferences and project needs. This allows you to resize and modify the timeline elements in a way that enhances your workflow and ensures that the final output aligns with your specific vision. In the Inspector tab on the right, you'll find all the essential settings for your video and audio. Next, let's see how to cut and trim the video. Make sure snapping and linkhead selection are activated. Snapping automatically aligns the playhead to the nearest point of the timeline and linkhead selection lets you edit linkhead video and audio together. We will use the blade tool to cut the video. Once you're done, switch back to selection mode. To remove a video, click on it and press delete on your keyboard. You can also cut the video by dragging the start or end of the clip. A white outline will show the length of the video you're cutting. You can easily move the video and place it wherever you want, including above other clips, which is handy for adding B-roll. To remove the audio, turn off link and selection and activate position lock. Click on the audio and press delete on your keyboard. If you want to add a music, do it the same way as adding a video. You can increase or decrease the volume by moving this line or using the controls on the right side. I'll set the volume to about minus 20 dB, so the music isn't too loud and the voice in the video stays clear. To make your music fade in or out, adjust the keyframe marker at the start or end of the clip and set it to your liking. If your speech is too loud or too soft, on the right side you can activate dialog leveler to make it consistent. Next. I will show you how to add text to your video. Go to the effects tab, select titles on the left and then you can drag the arrow like I did to preview the text animation. When you find one you like, drag it to the timeline above your clip. You can adjust the text effects duration by dragging the end like I did. On the right side you can add your text. After that you can choose the font, size and other settings to your liking. You have the option to position the text in this area, allowing you to place it exactly where you'd like it to appear. You will position it by adjusting the X or Y axis, moving them left or right to place the text where you want on the screen. Here is how the text looks. 
If you want to add transitions, go back to the Effects tab, click on Video Transitions and pick the one you like. You can add it between clips or at the start or end of your video to create a smooth effect. Many transitions are available in free version of DaVinci Resolve and all the necessary settings for customizing your transitions can be adjusted on the right side of the screen in the Transition tab. Here is the result of the transitions I chose to add and how they look in the video. The next tab is Fusion, which is used for advanced visual effects and motion graphics. It's not crucial for beginners, but you'll learn more about it in future tutorials. Subscribe so you don't miss out! Next is Color tab, where you can professionally color grade your videos. This tab has many advanced settings I can cover in future tutorials. For now, you can adjust basics like temperature, contrast and more. If you'd like to see some color grading tutorials in this section, feel free to drop your suggestions in the comments below. I'd love to hear your ideas. Now, I'll share with you two useful tricks. The first is for resetting adjustments. Just double-click to return to the original settings. You can apply this to any settings you want to reset. The second trick is how to apply the same color grading to multiple clips. Click on your video and then hold down Ctrl, then click on each of the clips you want to adjust. Right-click on one of the clips and choose Apply Grade. This will apply the same color grading settings to all the clips you selected. The next tab is Fairlight, which is specifically designed for advanced audio editing and mixing. It offers a wide range of professional tools for detailed audio work. However, for beginners, the basic audio editing tools in the timeline we covered earlier will be enough for now. The last tab is the Lever, which we will use to export video. You can export a specific part of the video by adjusting the end and start points. If you want to export the entire video, select entire timeline here. On the left you can pick one of the presets, I'll choose custom. Name your video below, click browse to select where to save it and hit save. Adjust any other settings if needed, then click Add to Render Queue. Next, click Render All and wait for the process to complete. After that, your video will be exported. You've done an amazing job so far, but if you're eager to learn even more cool techniques, don't miss my next video where I share 10 DaVinci Resolve tips and tricks you definitely need to try. Just click here and let's keep the momentum going.